Hello, hello. I just wanted to pop on here live because uh, recently I had a conversation that was about how do I get started uh, if I'm thinking about freelancing or starting my own business or uh, and I don't really have any clients yet. How do I actually get started? And the thing is, I got started pretty uh, simply with one email to a bunch of people that I already knew. And some of you may remember that email. And I wanted to go over it quickly because it's a very easy, simple template. If you're looking to start your own business, just start a venture, start something, and you're not sure exactly what to focus on, you're not sure exactly what to charge, and you're not sure exactly who clients. So um, I wanted to share the actual email that I sent. This was in 2015, so it was a while ago. Um, and let's just see if I can do this. But if, um, if I can't screen share, what I'm going to do is anybody who comments below with the hashtag email, I will send you the actual text. Um, right now, I'll just read it to you because it doesn't look like my screen wants to share. Oh, that's cute. But um, I'm going to read this email to you. So it's very, it's very simple. I crafted this email. I also put together a list of people that I already talked to and I already had some connections with. And even if they weren't exactly who I was looking for, I just wanted their input. So everybody that I was connected to with music, everybody was connected to with the at certain like social gatherings, uh, people who I knew from work or friends of friends. I looked in my Gmail box and I looked in my sent folder just to see who I've actually communicated with before and who might be interested in anything that I had to offer. And I compiled this list and the list ended up being something like 200, 250 people who um, I, I thought might use my services. I can't officially recommend you signing up people to things that aren't like that they did not opt in. I just wanted to be clear on that because this, this was a very curated list of people that I actually knew and liked and who I thought would be interested in updates in my life in general. So I already have a pre-established relationship with these people. I did not spam. I just reached out. I, I take a really good catalog of people that I thought would actually be interested, who I knew by first name, and and yeah, um, yeah. I don't know why. Oh, share screen. Ha ha ha. If I share screen, I won't see your comments. But I am just gonna go ahead and share this Chrome tab. Um, the email pulled up, and there we go. You can you should be able to see at least a. Um, a little bit of it, maybe I could um, go full screen on it. No, okay, well, I'll zoom in anyway. All right, so I'm just going to read this, and the subject line is literally, could use your help. And I start up by saying, hey there, quick question. As you might already know I'm starting a digital marketing consultancy called Yada Creative. I offer strategy sessions, training, and planning on the following things that I wasn't sure I was going to get into, but I could possibly offer. Uh, so social media, project management, content marketing, branding, web and graphic design, analytics, online ad campaigns. And here's the question. How much would you pay to rent my brain for an hour, given my experience? And I actually linked out to my LinkedIn. Yes, you personally. If you need some guidance with any of the above stuff in your life, how much would my help be worth to you and why? Let me know by this Friday. I have a gift for your valuable feedback. Smiley face, much love, Suzanne. 
Uh, I also put a little bit of a disclaimer at the bottom. I said, you're getting this email because I like you. I'm at somewhere online or off. You're family or friend. I want to keep in touch. Not and cool with that. Just unsubscribe below and pardon the intrusion. I only sent this email out once and had no intention on keeping a list because I really wanted to make sure that these are people that I actually had a personal connection with. Um, I, I really did not want to spam strangers or people or like random acquaintances. I also, and this is a good tip too, I uh, had a membership to a co-working space and was able to use their address in my um, in my MailChimp account, you know, because it, it requires a physical uh, mailing address. So I'm going to stop that share. But what, oh, I shouldn't have stopped that share because I actually had some more things to show you. What I really wanted to show you was the response that I got. So that was me just testing. Um, and then I got response after response after response after response. And even from my own mom, after response after response. So this is like the most successful email campaign um, that I could have possibly done because it was personal. It was to people that I handpicked that I knew would be interested in not only what I have to offer, but just like me in general who wanted to support me and my, and wanted to know what I'm up to. And I got like 60 responses out of the 250 that I emailed. That's an incredible rate. All with people saying, I think I would pay you X amount per hour of renting your brain. And I collected all the responses and I averaged them out. And I also like took care of people who were like, I don't really have money. You know, I, I just made sure. I'm... But um, I averaged all of those numbers out what people told me. And I came up to about a hundred bucks and like, this was 2015 and this was before I had any clients whatsoever. And I came out to a hundred bucks because these folks were responding to me. And what I did then was I responded to everybody who said above a hundred dollars. I said, I'm actually in business and now I'm launching and I'm going to be charging a hundred dollars an hour hit reply if you want to book me anybody who responded above a hundred dollars an hour think that they're getting a discount from what they thought anybody who responded below a hundred dollars an hour that's where i said look i'm now going to be charging a hundred dollars an hour but because you were generous in your time and in your feedback I will give you that first hour for free at whatever you said. So if they said 25 bucks, their first hour with me was 25 bucks. If they said I couldn't really afford anything, I said, I will give it to you for free. And that's how I got started. That's how I got my first clients. That's how I got uh, my first like testimonials and momentum. And if I were to do it again, I'd do exactly that, but I would also after talking with people, ask them for referrals and ask them for testimonials. I did get some testimonials and I did get some referrals, but I would do it in a lot more uh, deliberate way. But yeah, so that's really the email. It, it is super simple. The subject line is just said, could use your help. I used all lower caps because it, so it, it sounds a little more casual and also a little bit more in my style. Um, but it also feels like an actual email. No decorations, no pictures, no nothing. Just have it feel like an actual email to a human being. And the, the subject line says, could you use your help? Or, hey, could you do me a favor? Or something like that. And again, you're emailing people you already have connections with. And you just say, look, I'm starting my business. I have this knowledge, this knowledge, this knowledge. How much would you pay me to rent my brain for an hour? And you just get the feedback, average it out, give everybody, you know, give everybody a first shot of, of hiring you for exactly what they suggested in the first place. So that's how I got my start. And this is 2015. I, I now, 
am have doubled my rates because I've specialized in online advertising, which is a specialty that demands um, a lot more time and attention. And, and let me tell you about Facebook and Instagram ads and how much time and attention they demand. Um, but that's how I got my start. And I thought I'd pop on here. I also can send you the, the that exact template. If you hit reply, um, if you leave the hashtag below email, just hashtag email, I will be sure to get that to you. I'll, I'll probably Facebook message you the entire email. So you can just copy and paste it. If you're looking to get started or if you're looking to um, uh, switch your focus or if you're looking to anything like I would take the time, go through your Gmail, look to look in your sent folder and just see who you've actually had conversations with in the past three to six months who would be interested in what you have to offer and then just send them that email and then send them each and every one of them a follow-up email saying thank you so much and this is what I do. Uh, I hope that helps. Please leave the hashtag email below. And um, I will be sure, even if you're not with me live, if you're on the replay, I will be sure to hook you up and um, get you a Facebook message that has the exact email. All right, everybody take care. I will see you soon.